you are a legend. Oh, and you. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. We all want to be like you. Has fame become like what you thought it would be? I think it's it's harder. It's hard for everybody. You know, you hear so many mm -hmm. times, you know, there's not enough Latinos on TV, there's not a representation of this and that. But in reality, it's it's tough for it's tough for everybody. So yes. you celebrate every accomplishment you, you get, whether it's a big one or a small one, they're still the same because this business is so it's so difficult yes. to survive. Yes. And you've experienced a lot. What would you say surprised you most about fame, if anything? I think, you know, I, for me, I just think people, you know, they feel so comfortable, you know. Like, they would say to me, you know, has anybody ever told you you look like an old George Lopez? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I say, yeah. yeah. Say, this is what happens when you don't die, man. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a significant week for you. you first of your birthday, and yeah. then it's been 19... It was 19 years ago this week when you had your kidney transplant. I had a kidney transplant uh, 19 years ago, and... Um, my ex-wife, Ann, you know, uh, gave it to me, and uh, she's into the astrology, you know? Mm -hmm. So she went to, had to talk to her person in the stars, and they said, they said, um, April 9th, the guys, the woman said, April 19th. And it was like, the, it was like February, so I said, yeah. I'm like, I need uh, a little better than April 19th. So we went to, the, we went to see my doctor, the surgeon, and, and um, he said, when do you guys want to have this done? And she said, April 19th, and he said, hey, that's, that's my birthday, I do my best work on my birthday. Oh my goodness. So, so it's been 19 years and every year I send my surgeon flowers. He's retired. Oh. And every year I send my wife money, of course. And then I send, <laughs> I, send <laughs> I send the doctor flowers. So yeah, I'm, I'm, and, and you know, I, I, I'm happy to be alive. I mean, there's a lot of things that people miss about being alive, but uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the idea that to be able to give back to people who, and kids who have kidney disease is one thing I didn't expect. But you know, Jennifer, when I woke up like a day and I, uh, two days after my surgery, I'd felt better than I'd felt at any point in my life. Mm. And at that point, I thought, you know, the rest of my life, I'm gonna just help other people who, who are sick and need, and need help and show them that you can come and be Wow, better. that yeah. has to make you feel good. Yeah, yeah I feel great. Okay, yeah. we have to talk about your show. Yeah. Lopez versus Lopez is very funny and beautiful, but it, it, it hits home. It's like, tell everyone how it came about. It's very personal. Yeah, thing. you know, I, I was estranged from my daughter, Maya, because uh, of the divorce and, and things. And, you know, when I was growing up, Jennifer, you know, I really didn't have a male. I, I had no father, I didn't have a father. So mm -hmm. I had really no, no figure or anyone really kind of to tell me uh, what was right and wrong. And, and I made a lot of mistakes, you know, as, as men do. And no excuse. I mean, they were all mine. But not until I started to do something that nobody in my family or anybody that I really knew ever did was accept responsibility for a person's behavior. Right. So I, I, I said, uh, you know, uh, um, so many times that we just would just remove people from our lives forever. But then, you know, to be a father is, is a very special thing. But also to yes. be, to have a child as beautiful as, 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 as any child, but to be estranged from your child has got to be, it's one of the worst things ever. So... For the first time in my life, I, I owned up to all of my mistakes, and you know, I was lucky enough that mine took me back into her life. And you know, a little bit of the show was about about uh, mm. that. gave me chills. Mm. Wow. You know. Yeah. You know, I, I, listen, I, I wasn't planning on making as many mistakes in my life, but I also wasn't planning on them, them all being part of my two shows, but yeah. I'm happy. If, if my dysfunction can help <laughs> someone function, then I'm cool with that. And I like, think it will. That's brave of you. Yeah, thank you. And, you, and you know, um, I was, you know, in, in high school, I was just, you know, very disrespectful to my baseball coach. I loved baseball. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, years after I got out of, I got out of uh, high school, I realized that, you know, all my behavior was traced to me. I always thought it was somebody else's fault, you know. Mm. So uh, maybe four years after I graduated from high school in San Fernando High, I, I waited for the, all the players to go in, and he was out there collecting some equipment, and, and he looked at me and hadn't seen me, you know, five years, and he was like, what are you doing here? And, and literally I said, I'm, I'm here to apologize for the way that I, I treated you when I was here in high school as a student. And Thank you. And, yeah. and, I, and, and, and literally, I'll say this honestly, like, I don't think that I could have gone a day in my life without apologizing to somebody that I was so rude to. And it was the first time I think in my life that I ever sincerely apologized to somebody. And you know, it's, it's been a learning thing ever since. Yes, yeah, yeah. and that's a great example, yeah. you know, and being able to take responsibility for your own actions. Right. How has it been therapeutic to you? Well, I think, you know, um, 
I, I, I've decided not to date anymore. I mean, you know, I'm 60, I would be 63, so I'm, I'm out of that. that. That relieves a lot of the issues that I had. But, <laughs> but the only, now I realize the only person I need to be in love with and have her love me back is my daughter, Maya. Aww. So uh, all yes. my attention would go to, to her, yeah. A great place for your energy yeah. and attention to go to. Yeah. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.